welcome to the My Mani Buddy series, where I, Marin Agarwal, take you through the events of last month that affected your financial life. I've had many people reaching out to me to ask me whether to continue their SIP or redeem it or change the underlying fund. My answer is no. If you have invested based on a specific goal, you certainly need to hold on. And if you've only started your SIP two to three years back, you do need to give it sufficient time to perform. A SIP should be exited only if you are close to your goal or there has been an underperformance in the underlying fund for at least 18 months to two years. So don't change the SIP just by looking at short term one to two year returns. Stick on to your SIPs for long term. The other news that I came across last month was that of many bank branches consolidating and merging with other bank branches. So if you have an account in a branch that is closed down, what do you need to do? It's very simple. All you need to do is visit the branch where you had your account, surrender your old checkbook and get a new checkbook with new details like the IFSC code and the branch name and the MICR code of the branch where your account has been merged with. After the branch closes, all your dealings are going to be with the new branch. If you have a query, please feel free to connect with us on our social pages. Happy investing!